what is load flow that could be like quite a lot of definitions for a load flow from different different people perspective i am strong believer of ieee 399 and of course ieee 3000 series books which helps you to basically i mean so say structure why we are performing when you are performing how you are performing and this is a definition from ieee 399 about load flow so let's let's watch like what's the definition from them and then we will try to understand and then probably we reframe it or add few points if it is necessary so i mean for say many people define the load flow is to check like whether the generation load balance could be met or something etc etc but like reality is other way around means for say what are the things which has to be known for load flow analysis is like load power consumption at all buses has to be given which means that's an input it's not an output what's the power consumption at each and every bus has to be given as an input to the load flow and second one of a known electric power system configuration what does that mean you need to ensure that what are the breakers which are open what are the breakers which are closed whether transformers are operating in parallel or whether the bus coupler is open isolator is closed etc which is closed all the electric power system configuration has to be known and power production at each generator has to be known means what is it you should know what is the power consumption at each and every load you need to know what is the power generation at each and every generator then it cannot balance it please try to understand this that's what the load flow will do you need to know what is the generation at each and every generators and you need to know what is the consumption at each and every load and you need to know how electric i mean so say configuration power system configuration you should know and then like one thing which is missed out in the standard is like you should know the network parameters when i say like rlc parameters of transmission lines cables transformers etc you need to know that without which you cannot do really load flow that that has to be known which is probably missed out in the standard and if the loaded load centers are known generation at generator success is known network configuration is known the network parameters are known then what load flow is doing load flow is doing power flow in each branches and finding out the voltage and the angle at each buses ideally this is what the load flow is doing load flow is plainly doing load flow is plainly doing finding out the voltage at each and every buses angle at each and every buses and then like finding out the power flow in each and every branch this is the definition of load flow as per ieee 399 and having said this like we need to understand one more important aspect means what say means what say for which system we have to perform load flow for which system we don't need to perform a load flow let's probably bring up another system and ask you a question whether do we need load flow for that or not so this is an industry and like which receives a power supply at 15 kv from grid and like there are two numbers of 2 mva transformers stepping down to the loads and feeding the loads and there are other two feeders probably which use a remote connector which is going to the next page not next page the same page is coming via the remote connector and it is connected to another other bus and again they have like some 2 mva transformers and feeding the loads and when the grid fails or the transformer fails like diesel generator is there as a backup now the question is quite simple and straight forward do we need to perform load flow analysis for the system the system is explained like this is an industry which receives a power supply at 15 kv it has like four numbers of 2 mva transformers stepping down from 15 kv to 400 volt and when the grid fails or a diesel transformer fails like diesel generator is there is a backup do we need to perform load flow analysis for the system yes or no so then if you said yes what's the objective of load flow what's the objective of load flow whether to perform load flow or not we are answering it as if you are saying yes what's the objective of load flow the objective of the load flow let's go back to the standard let's watch like why need to perform load flow what is load flow we have seen what is load flow we have seen 
let's go to why load flow right why load flow if you want to find out if you want to find out the equipment loading of a branch that could be a cable that could be a transmission line that could be a transformer anything anything then you may need you may need the load flow analysis if you want to find out the bus voltages at a different different bus then you may need load flow if you want to find out the reactive power flow in a different branches you need to perform load flow if you want to find out what's the oltc range which is needed oltc is required or not then you may need to perform load flow if you want to find out the system losses you may need to perform load flow if you want to find out the generator terminal set point voltage which you need to do then you need to you need to probably perform load flow if you want to study the system under emergency conditions you need to perform load flow i triple 399 you need to understand that is means was say the standard which covers the industrial power system industrial power system maybe one more objective of load flow is to validate or to identify the stability more specifically steady state stability to validate whether the system is steady state stable or not so means was this is exactly from i triple 399 if you want you can add maybe one more bullet point that's not for an industrial power system that's for like large scale grid connected power systems means to say that is you need to find out whether the system is steady state stable or not and coming back just look at like point by point compare this network means what say what is the first point component or a circuit loading means why do we need to perform load flow to find out the power flow in each and every branch now having said that like let's ask a question means what to say if we have like a 2 ampere transformer the load flow will tell like how much percentage this transformer is loaded do i need to perform load flow to find out how much percentage this transformer is loaded answer may not be i can probably means what to say had all the loads here and with a suitable load factor and diversity factor in an excel sheet i will be able to find out what's the loading of the transformer and here probably means was say this 2 mba is not means was say what to say or how to say like this 2 mba is not dictated or decided by the power system engineer this 2 mba is calculated by the detail engineering engineer who decides the transformer rating and probably means we are asking as an input what's the transformer mba what's the voltage what's the impedance what's the oltc range which means like you are not really optimizing any numbers so which means the engineer who has performed the transformer sizing calculation has already done some methodology to identify means what's the total load what's the other all other aspects and coming to coming to here uh, probably say that this 2 mba transformer is enough right so what i mean you cannot i mean for say or you need not perform load flow to find out how much percentage the transformer is loaded similarly means for say steady state bus voltage if you have a radial system just by means of using a simple formula v equal to iz or probably means for say v equal to e minus iz whatever you want like you will be able to find out all the bus voltages and we do i mean so say cable sizing calculations using an excel sheet you will find out the voltage drop there so means finding out the voltage in small such a simple systems i mean what so say you may not need a load flow similarly what is the reactive power flow means in the system whatever the reactive power consumption of the loads that has to flow via this transformer only and probably means if you are putting a capacitor bank if you are putting a capacitor bank if you are putting a capacitor bank Uh, means what to say uh, that will consume or that will support some reactive power and the balanced reactive power you will draw from the grid right and this is the project which is done by one of uh, i mean what to say one of the other consulting firm before we we do this project and probably means what to say and just zooming the portion which is wrong and probably or the understanding of this can you say like what is wrong with what is wrong with this model this model is what we have received from like uh, i mean to say one of the other persons 
uh, other consulting firm has performed the load flow and it came to us i'm just zooming and keeping it some portions can you can you just find out like what are the things by means of looking at the parameters which you are seeing in the screen what all things are uh, which is blender okay fine so means what to see here like 15 kv in fact the reason behind why we have received the job is uh, like the low flow is not converged <laughs> all right so i mean so to see uh, let's let's look at this like look carefully why the low flow is not converged i guess at least now i am zooming to the close to portion like what what's the mistake the transformer rating itself 2 mba and maximum load what you can connect to this transformer is 2 mba and you are connecting 200 mba logically it is 200 kva and the low flow is not converging so means what i am trying to say having a neat clean diagram like this alone will not help you you need to know each and every technical parameters and how this parameter has an impact on power system settings right and that that's probably the first and most important mistake and that's the reason why the low flow has not converged so that the equipment rating could be optimized what's the system losses for a different configurations and this low flow has to tell what's the best optimal configurations for the given system which mean like it is just not a low flow it is an optimal power flow which you need to perform right this is a country level project like it's one of the country in western africa right like they have two numbers of hydro plants about like 28 megawatt which is like about 240 kilometers away from the load center this is a load center you can look at this length 100 km so when you have this i mean for such a system then probably do we need to perform load flow absolutely yes means for say when you are planning for a generation planning or a transmission planning or a distribution planning obviously you need and probably now coming back to this component or a circuit loading if it is an interconnected system like india where we deal with 400 gigawatt installed capacity and 210 215 gigawatt peak demand which is key pricing on a daily basis and means for say unpredictable wind unpredictable solar do we need a load flow yes you need a load flow to identify the means for say component loadings or like equipment loadings at each and every branch this helps you to identify the rating of the transmission lines or cables in a large interconnected systems this also gives an idea means what to say what is the transmission expansion which is needed 5 years down the line or 10 years down the line means after the load has increased after the generation has increased you cannot probably means to say put up a transmission network like that needs a planning so means to say what should be your network 5 years down the line 10 years down the line you need to perform perform load flow and i am freezing my transformer impedance as 8 percentage but when i am saying 8 percentage the impedance will have a tolerance when i am asking 8 if he has given 8.8 the losses will be more voltage drop will be more instead of giving 8 if he gives 7.2 the short circuit current will be more so means what say obviously load flow is needed at the planning stage load flow is also needed at the design and engineering stage and probably at an asphalt stage with everything is constructed and then probably as and when you do some modifications as and when you do some modifications and load flow analysis is needed for a large complex interconnected systems not necessary for a simple radial systems simple radial systems like two outgoing feeders one incomer like do we need a load flow analysis not necessary if you add this current with that current obviously you will get the incomer current so for such a systems you need not really literally worry about load flow analysis i am looking all these questions as like what are the parameters to be optimized what are the parameters to be optimized what parameters to be optimized and how to optimize the parameter say example if you are taking a load flow what's the parameter to be optimized reactive power compensation device to be optimized means what to say if you are performing a load flow and if you are recommending 200 mba at 400 volt the epc will die correct no the engineering procurement construction company those who has to procure install this capacitor bank will cry and die and you know the cost of like 200 mba capacitor bank and if you connect a 200 mba capacitor bank and a 2 mba you know like what what can happen so what i'm trying to say ensure that like what's the parameter to be optimized and it has to be optimized based on the cost or reliability or availability or is there any other constraints and whether you are working for like long term or whether you are working for a short term say example we are working in a project in australia in a mine where 
means was the life of the mine itself only 3 years then probably means was it you need not really design an electrical system and ask the specification where the transformer life is for like 25 years similarly like means was it if you are setting for the generator excitor or regulator voltage set points this is applicable when you have a cogeneration system which operates with the grid like means was it we have seen some scenarios where means was it not to reduce the electricity bill the steel industry has added a cogeneration after adding a cogeneration they are paying a higher electricity bill to the utilities rather than i mean so say uh, this cogeneration reduces the bill that's because of a poor power factor or increased contract demand and so on and so forth so you have to be a bit careful and you have to know how to optimize the parameters and what are the parameters to be optimized say example if i am coming back to the system means what's to be optimized whether this entire capacity of the hydro plant which is 240 kilometers away from the load center can be brought in unfortunately not and then probably means to say what is to be done whether to increase this single circuit line to a double circuit line or whether we need to increase the reactive power compensation at the load center or in between we need to do some voltage support etc that that pretty much what we need to think of so means what to say then probably means what to say if you are decided to x means if the load increases you will be trying to draw more real and reactive power from the remote and probably yes you know reactive power cannot be transmitted over long distance you will end up with the problems and this country is in the scenario like means say though this hydro is available which is 240 km from the load center they buy the energy or a power from the diesel generators which is there in the sit in the capital of the city at means what say four times higher price then the cost of the thermal generator which is about 140 kilometers away let me repeat this statement this country is being power from the diesel generators at four times the cost of the energy cost which is from a thermal generator which is about 140 kilometers 140 140 kilometers away from the load centers when we are trying to get the power from both hydro and thermal like means to say unfortunately because of the long length means was we are facing quite a lot of challenges on the voltage profile then probably means was a just a 2 km away which is in the sip rental diesel generators are supplying at much higher cost to feed this country and probably means was the utility will try to cut down the loads to minimize their capital expenses and then probably the people's in the country will tend to use diesel generators which further increases the pollution as well as the cost of the country so when you are designing a power system you cannot probably cut down the cost on the capital you need to ensure that what's the optimal way how you can extract the power and maintain provide reliable and quality power to the system